Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive? Absolutely. Always ready to jump into a new topic. Awesome. So today, we're taking a crack at something pretty wild. We're diving headfirst into the mystery surrounding Christopher Nolan's next film project. Oh yeah, this one's got everyone buzzing. For sure. Even just finding solid info about it is a challenge. Luckily, we've got this article. Robert Pattinson joins Christopher Nolan's mystery project, A Match Made in Cinematic Heaven, to give us a starting point. Although, to be honest, even rumors about the plot are getting shut down left and right. This thing is shrouded in secrecy. It's like Nolan's intentionally created this cinematic black hole, sucking in all the speculation but giving nothing back. Huh, it's true. But hey, even with the lack of information, there are some pretty exciting pieces to the puzzle we do know about. Okay, I'm all ears. What have we got? Well, first of all, mark your calendars because it's hitting theaters on July 17th, 2026. Summer blockbuster season, prime Nolan territory. That's definitely a power move. Right. And then there's the cast. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we've got Robert Pattinson making a comeback after Tenet. No way, he's back for more. He is. And wait, it gets even better. Alongside Pattinson, we've got Matt Damon, Tom Holland, Anne Hathaway, Zendaya, and Lupita Nyong'o. Wow, just wow. That's not just a cast, it's a cinematic dream team. Seriously. This lineup has me thinking, is this star power just for the buzz? Or is it a hint about the film's ambition? What do you think? I mean, each of these actors is known for a very particular style and strength. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head there. Nolan's never been one to just throw big names together for the sake of it. Remember Inception. Each actor was carefully chosen to represent a very specific skill set, almost like they were mirroring the different layers of the dream heist. Right, like a carefully assembled team of specialists. So how do you see that playing out with this new project? Well, you've got Damon, who brings that gravitas, that seasoned dramatic force. Then you've got Holland, who's become the modern action hero archetype. Hathaway can swing between intense vulnerability and this hard-as-nail strength. Zendaya, she's the rising star, just a completely owns every scene she's in. And Youngo, she's the chameleon, just disappears into her role. That's it. It's like he's creating a multifaceted story maybe playing with different perspectives, mm. shifting realities, or even blending genres altogether. That's a really interesting thought. It wouldn't be the first time Nolan's messed with our perceptions of reality. Exactly, it all ties together. But here's something I find particularly interesting. There are these rumors floating around that Zendaya and Youngo might only have smaller roles. Can you imagine? Even with limited screen time, they could steal the show. Oh, absolutely. They're both so captivating, it would be hard to take your eyes off them. Right, and let's not forget, Daya's basically running Hollywood right now. I mean, she's juggling several major franchises. How she'll fit this into her schedule is a mystery worthy of Nolan himself. Haha, uh -huh. good point. It's amazing how she manages it all. Totally. And speaking of amazing, Lupita Nyong'o, I mean, her presence alone just elevates any project. Agreed. She brings a level of talent and prestige that's hard to match. And, you know, thinking about schedules and career trajectories, it's interesting to look at Pattinson. 2026 is going to be a big year for him. Oh, so? He's going to be starring in both Nolan's film and The Batman 2, two huge projects back to back. Oh, wow, yeah. That's going to be wild to see. Talk about range. Exactly. Going from the intensity and darkness of Batman to, well, whatever Nolan has cooked up, it really showcases his versatility. That stark contrast in roles makes me think Nolan might be leaning into Pattinson's ability to portray those morally complex, maybe even existentially troubled characters. Yeah. He's definitely proven he can handle those kinds of roles. Totally. So we've got Nolan, the master of mind-bending plots, the king of practical effects over CGI, the guy who practically lives in IMAX. We've got this crazy talented cast, each chosen for a reason. And we've got this blanket of secrecy that's making the anticipation just skyrocket it. So what kind of film is he actually making? A mind-blowing spy thriller, a time-twisting drama that breaks our brains, a genre-bending hybrid we haven't even thought of yet. That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And it all leads to something I think is really interesting for us to think about. Can Nolan, even with all this secrecy, actually defy our expectations? He's kind of built his entire career on doing just that. It's true, he's always pushing the boundaries. Right, each of his films is like this puzzle box, daring us to engage with it, analyze it, debate it, think about the discussions that are still happening around Inception, Interstellar, even the more divisive tenet. It's true, you always walk out of a Nolan film with a lot to process. Right, so with this new film, Shrouded in Mystery, it's almost guaranteed to spark even more conversations. 
Could this carefully crafted ambiguity be his ultimate tool? Is he trying to make sure we're not just passively watching, but actively participating in figuring out the mysteries long after the film ends? That's something I think is worth pondering. That's an incredible thought. We might be getting played by a master and loving every second of it. Great stuff as always, really makes you think. Glad you enjoyed it. It's a topic that definitely keeps you guessing. For sure. All right, everyone, thanks for joining us for another deep dive. Until next time. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.